On one memorable day, there was a knock at the front door of the synagogue, and standing there when we opened the door was an Orthodox Jew. And he said to the lady who opened the door, do you by any chance have any scrolls for repair? He was a professional scribe, a sofer, and she said to him, we have 1,564, do come in. Torah means teaching, and Torah is a scroll, which contains part of the Hebrew Bible. Uh, they actually contain the entire learning uh, and basis of, uh, of Judaism. And it represents to the Jew something of the um, continual line that has existed for Jews from the earliest times up to the present day. They asked all the congregations throughout Bohemia and Moravia to send all their Jewish artifacts to Prague. Abramsky inspected the scrolls in that little synagogue and said that many of them were damaged, they would have to be repaired, but they should, if at all possible, be preserved for the future. They crossed Europe in two large flatbed lorries and on a very wet, miserable day in February, rather like today, these two lorries turned into the little turning where the synagogue is, Rutland Gardens, opposite Hyde Park, uh, bearing their precious load of 1,564 scrolls of the law. And there, as if they were wearing shrouds, they looked like dead bodies. It was a very moving occasion, and most of the people there were in tears. There were many um, commemorative notes in them. There, one of them was tied up with a child's belt, and they were damaged. They were damaged by fire, by water, we think by blood. By tradition, um, a scroll cannot be used in a synagogue service if it is damaged in any way. And also traditionally, it is uh, accepted by Orthodox Jews that damaged scrolls should be buried. In a sense, they were brought back to life. I mean, these are the only survivors of these, of these Czech communities. The people in them all perished. Hardly anybody survived the war. And the communities were certainly not re-established after the war. Here were scrolls that had come from this terrible, terrible background that were repaired wherever possible and made fit for use. When we read from those particular scrolls, there is a emotional connection. What I am hoping is that the communities which have one of those Czech scrolls will use those Czech scrolls for teaching purposes, but also in emphasizing that it represents not only the past, not only the actual text, but it represents uh, a future. Thank you.